this tutorial 9-2 NGIS Tutorial Workbook 2. In this exercise, we'll be performing a hotspot analysis. This is similar to what we did in the last tutorial, but it's a little bit different. We're using polygons, and we're but we're also calculating location and value. And the scenario is they want to know where the higher income are compared to the lower income, like the hot spots for, for the wealth. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a tool that the, the book describes to use. But like in the last tutorial, it is becoming obsolete in newer versions of ArcMap. So what we're going to do is there is a newer tool that works pretty much the same way that we'll also use and you get very similar results. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to our toolbox and we're going to go to spatial statistics and tools and we're going to go down to rendering and we're going to use hotspot analysis with rendering. And here's the notification that it will be not used in, in later editions. So we're going to use Census 2000 Income as our feature class. This PO field is the median income for each polygon. And then we're going to name or output file layer. And I'm going to label it what the book wants, uh, Geddes, and then the county name. Uh, I believe Geddes is the method that is used, or the, the, the individual that came up with it. And we're going to give the same name to this, to the feature class, and we're going to give a distance span of one mile, but the map is in feet, so we have to do it in feet. So it's 5,280. Just click OK. Okay, and the tool is done, and, and it worked. Now, what we're seeing here is the red areas are where there's the high income. The blue is the low income. So this is the areas where they would want to focus on collecting for charity, and the blue for programs to improve people, um, job opportunities, and offer charity. Now we're going to use the other tool that I was mentioning that works pretty much the same way. Um, it's in spatial statistics, and you want to go to mapping clusters, and it's the hotspot analysis. And that's where the the name came from, Geddes. I, I believe that's the person that came up with the method. And we do much of what we did before. We use Census 2000. We use the same field. This one I'm just going to call Cluster 5280. Uh, we're going to use a fixed distance band uh, just because I don't believe the other ones are really influencing each other. So we'll just leave it at that. And we'll put the distance band in. We'll click OK. And you can see there are a few differences, but that could be mainly due 
to the, to the number of classes. In this one, they use the standard deviations that we're used to from working with the other statistical tools. This changed the z-scores to more even numbers. This kept it to more confidence intervals. So areas that are dark blue, this is the more conservative, conservative map to go by and probably the one more likely to be used. And that's it for this tutorial.